welcome to the Connors, and we are here with Neve McIntosh, Madam Vastra herself. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. <laughs> now, um, your 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 role on Doctor Who started in um, in season five, playing uh, the Silurians, multiple Silurians in yeah. that. Yeah, the twins. Uh, uh, oh my God, I'm never forgetting their, their name. No, Vestak and Al Alea. Oh my God. Well done. You've, you've passed the test. That's good. That's good. That's all right. Geriatric moment. <laughs> Geriatric moment. Um, yes, Aaliyah and Restak, the twins, yes. Now, you had no idea that you'd be invited back or any? None whatsoever. No idea. And I got a phone call. I'd just finished doing, um, it was a talking book, I think, uh, for, for Doctor Who. And then all of a sudden, it's like, phone call, yeah, can you come back and do it again? It's like, but I'm dead, am I not? I'm <laughs> dead. Both, both times I'm dead. And then, yeah, I got the script and... So it was as a good guy, one of the goodies. So yeah. It's and how um, how is the process of putting the makeup on and off? Has it got faster? Has the process sped up since you've been doing it more often? Or yeah, pretty much. I think as well. It's uh, when it's the same person doing it more often than not. Then they get faster and faster as well at doing it. And um, yeah, and I've got more used to it. I actually fall asleep in the chair now, which is easier because then I'm not talking and drinking tea and wanting to fanny about or <laughs> fart about with it. Um, yeah, so yeah, it has got a lot easier. Now, is there a camaraderie between the Paternoster gang, between the three of you? Bit like you and Dan must be in the same makeup chairs and the same amount of time. Yeah, Dan and I have an awful lot of fun sometimes <laughs> in the mornings. Especially if we are a bit boisterous and stuff. Um, there's a, a, a radio program on and we always take the mickey out of the DJ women that they've got on it and Dan is one of the funniest funniest people that you will ever meet I love him to death he's so funny he'll just come out with all this random stuff and we're trying to stay still and get our makeup done and giggling all the way the girls are like that come on that's why they prefer it if we sleep but um yeah we've got a lot of fun especially that Dan and I always well always seem to we're always put in the same hotel because Katrin's from Cardiff she always stays at her mum's I know, but um, we always party a bit together. So we always end up going back at the end of a long, hard day, yeah. knackered. We sort of sit in the bar of the hotel sometimes, just like that. Should we get soup or just have a glass of wine? Or should we just go to bed? I don't care. So that yeah. tends to be our sort of time. Was there an element when you found out what you were going for that you'd be covered in makeup that was a disappointment or you just didn't care because you were just on Doctor Who and kind of didn't care because it was Doctor <laughs> Who. <laughs> but um, they showed me um, a picture, the sort of artist's graphic of what they wanted the new Silurians to look like. And at first I was a bit disappointed because there was no red laser beam third eye. No. I no. know, but then they said, no, you've got a funky tongue that stings people and makes them go a bit wacky. So, um, but I remember, you know, when, when these things, they, they all look like really sexy. <laughs> so I went, mm, okay, well, maybe not quite that. <laughs> But still, they, they, they eventually got that with my black corset and the start of Peter's though. Now, was it, was it a, a proud moment to be... Because when every new doctor comes in, they bring in regulars back to be sort of like the, the, the warm buffer zone. Yeah. So you were brought in to ease the fans into Peter Capaldi's entrance. How was that to be in deep breath on the big screen release as well? It was amazing. <laughs> That's all I can say. As soon as I heard that we were going to be in it and um, I knew, I've known Peter for years uh, and his, uh, his wife Elaine as well. So you got the got the scripts and stuff because the other thing was like, oh my God, it's uh, Ben Wheaton who's... Incredible director, film, yeah. Incredible director, love him. Geek as well, fellow geek, <laughs> yes. Um, and then when I saw as well that there's a giant dinosaur as well, I was like, so I'm going to be in Peter Capaldi's first one with a giant dinosaur wrecking parliament and I'm going to be saving the day. It was incredible. And when we shot that scene, when it was Peter's very first scene, when he first comes out of the TARDIS. That was the first day as well? It was a, Yeah, it was the first day. We'd already shot something first thing in the morning for the, for the dinosaur, the banks of the Thames. Yes. And then we went down into the, into the, onto the actual beach, which they built. I mean, they just brought sand and seaweed and the place stank under the hot lights, all the salt and seaweed stank to high heaven. But then we just stood, There's, there was moments where we were just standing watching Peter do his thing. And we're almost forgetting we're supposed to be in the scene together. I'd like to see some of the outtakes of us sort of probably <laughs> just like going, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. oh no, yeah, we've got, mm, yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. 
that's the new doctor. So. <laughs> now, um, you're also very famous from your work on Bodies, and just for the last one to finish up, uh, how was working on that very intense, very visceral show? Uh, and was it just as intense working on it as the final product was? Yeah, I, that, <laughs> that, that's the easy answer. It was, um, yeah, that was, that was a good sort of two, three, well, almost three full seasons that we did of it. It was. Um, the, the political take on everything was just oh. so, I mean, it's the, the amount of debate that we had before every script and for how we were going to do this and how we were going to deal with this. And it's it's one of the things that slightly irks me a little bit. We were talking about all of this stuff in the National Health Service in Britain years ago. And only in the last couple of years, everyone's going, oh, my God, this is happening in the National Health. And this is happening. It was like, yes, we told you this was going on. And it's like, oh, we've just suddenly rediscovered it. Yes. So, but uh, yeah, I think we still need stuff like that bit in the show. Definitely. That's the great thing about drama. Um, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate taking time out. Nick McIntosh.